you doing guys Montos 3D Creations back for another video so today's video obviously as you can see in the title finally got my Creality CR6 SE first thoughts on it honestly um I was honestly kinda disappointed at first and let me finish um the way I got the printer everything looked great it was packaged nicely everything looked awesome you know the box had a little hole on the side but i mean it's you know it's coming from china and it looks like it was just bumped against another box so it wasn't that big of a deal and did not affect you know the printer inside whatsoever um one of the biggest things i saw that when i was putting it together biggest thing to look at is you might want to lower the gantry as a little bit while you're putting the printer together because it is resting up against the top belt which I thought, you know, it's probably not good because it's going to chafe the belt and it could cause cracks on it eventually. So, just, you know, uh, packing for Creality. You know, maybe just put it down just a little bit so it's not pressing all the way up against the belt. The way I received mine, mine was, my the belt, one side of the belt was completely twisted. You know, almost 90 degrees. So, probably, you know, not good long term, you know, if they're in storage. Um, another thing I would say is... The other issue I had was with the auto leveling. On mine, when I put it all together, all of a sudden I hit auto level and it thought the when it was supposed to go to one, it actually went to go auto level at I believe between like five or six. So if your one is here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, and all the way to sixteen, because this thing has sixteen points to auto level, which is pretty awesome, you know, Creality. That's that's pretty cool 16 points definitely helps you get a really level bed and it lets the board know exactly where your bed might be warped or not you know so it knows to adjust your print accordingly so that is a pretty awesome little add-on but in my case um mine was not working whatsoever um come to find out i took the whole printer completely apart i mean like the factory would completely took it apart all the way down and I actually noticed that on the, what is it, the X motor, um, on the X switch, um, there's an extension that goes from the X switch. It was, um, one of the pins was not plugged all the way into the connector. So, you know, if you have the connector and you have the two cables going into that connector, that connector plugs into another board inside, you know, on the printer. Well, that connector itself the cable one of the bottom the bottom cable wasn't pushed all the way in unfortunately so that's just you know quality control issue right there just you know quality just double check you know make sure you have those guys double check make sure the pins are all the way in because you that really could damage all the motors i mean anytime you try to auto level it it would you know do its thing home 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 and then once it got you know to like five which is supposed to go there over go. it didn't know which way is sideways so obviously that's what that limit switch is there for so if that limit switch isn't there the printer doesn't know where it needs to home it can't find it can't find zero so you know it's not really a big thing you know but definitely quality assurance thing so definitely you know if you're buying one of these printers or if you you know you have one double check it it might be a little bit loose you know you might want to try to push it back in just to make sure it's seated properly um besides that the next issue i think i had was i actually started it off around 2 a.m and um i actually started a print right before i went to bed and then i stopped the printer turned it completely off and unplugged the power cable to simulate a power failure and it is advertised as having you know print resume function but unfortunately unlike I want to say the Creality Ender 3 Pro does have a similar function. Unfortunately for me, I'm still using the stock firmware. So for me, it generally doesn't work correctly. And it's no different with the CR6SE. Um, it did actually go back and start kind of turning a print. And I believe I was doing the uh, the EV model that's on the, that's on the SD card. It pressed down too hard and just broke the leg right off. So belt print right off the bat so in my opinion the print resume probably doesn't work you know I'm, I'm gonna obviously do some more testing on it but in my opinion there's still a couple you know a couple little issues with that pretty much besides that that's the only issues I had um, the printer overall amazing um, the way it prints super quiet it's pretty much like 
like silk. I want to say a silk. It, it's smooth. Um, you can definitely tell the, the upgrades from the Android 3 Pro to the Creality CR6. There's obviously a lot of improvements. One of the main ones is our filament runout sensor, which is pretty awesome to have. So if you're running out of filament and you're having a pretty cool print, the printer will stop because it knows that you run out of filament and it will tell you, hey, put some filament in and it'll continue the print after you tell it to. That's pretty awesome. Um, let me see here. Besides that, you know, it's basically the same build size, the plate, as an Ender 3 Pro. Um, what is it? 235 by 235 by 250 millimeters. So it's pretty much the pretty much pretty identical. The only main difference is Creality CR3 uh, Pro uses the magnetic bed. Uh, the CR6 is a glass bed, which is pretty cool. It's honestly it's amazing. I haven't had any issues with the two models I've done so far sticking to the bed. And one of them. Benchy. So as you guys can see, let me see if I can get it to zoom in here. The Benchy actually came out pretty good. I'll do some up close shots on it later on as well. But it did a really good job. All the overhangs look great. Little portholes on the side look great. The detail on the on the steering wheel on the boat looks great so I mean overall it's a great print there is some slight little stringing here and there but it's nothing too crazy Let's see here I think that's a little bit better we got some pretty nice details there so I mean overall it's it's really nice I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely liking it so if you guys didn't know, this printer, I actually won it on the 3D Printing Nerds channel on the live stream. He was doing a uh, giveaway that Creality said, hey, let's throw a CR6 SE in there. And I was the final winner and I got to, you know, win it. So, you know, wanted to say a big old thanks to the 3D Printing Nerd. You know, I honestly, I'm loving the 3D printer. Um, got to, you know, figure out a couple little couple of little quirks on it, which, you know, hopefully will help out other people that, you know, are buying this printer if you do have the same issues. You know, hopefully you find this video and it'll help you out to try to, you know, just plug it in or whatnot and get you printed. So, final takes on it, it's a great printer. I'm, you know, so far happy with it. I'm sure, you know, once I mess with the G-code a little bit, you know, the slicer settings, I can probably get a little bit better prints. But so far, it's looking pretty good. I'll be showing you guys a close-up at the end of the video. So, oh yeah, buy it. Why not? You know, it's a... Uh, pretty decently priced so why not if you are looking for the auto leveling and which most people are it's included already you know so that's amazing so Creality great job I uh, appreciate the printer I'm gonna honestly be using it for a very long time obviously and I'm very grateful this Christmas for you and the 3d printer and I really appreciate the gift definitely made my christmas this year you know my kids are super stoked because now i was able to give away my two under three pros to each one of my kids my son now has my first under three pro my daughter now has my second under three pro and now for myself thank you 3d printing nerd and creality i finally got myself a cr6 sc that i can print my own stuff on so hopefully you guys like the video i'm going to be doing a little uh fun little thing on the uh, projects I've made so far on the printer so hopefully you'll stick around for that and as always smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more thanks guys and stay safe out there
Thank you.